John Fitzgerald alongside me, Rob Koenig. Let's get it on. Whoa. That's a hand me the rock. I am ready to roll stop. Oh, he's just found the sideline. Ability of Rafa to hit this defensive chip lob over the backhand side of a right-hander is uncanny. You've got to have the firepower. Probably need a little bit more width. I mean, he carves around this. Great to have you, Flip. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here with you and to watch Rafa yeah, play his right. first match here at the Open. That's what I'm talking about going to have to get a little out of his comfort zone and step into shots because he can afford to sit back and have those long rallies with Rafa maybe for a set, set and a half but after that, the second and third set as he gets going Game that out. Yeah, and the heavy body blows That's a nice one to punctuate the third game to Multiple Grand Slam wins he's always looking to improve That was great play, but just Nadal, amazing please. anticipation from Nadal, Bring not only to get there, but look at this little flick cross court. Oh, that's filthy, isn't it? I think you've got him. And it's almost a no-looker. I didn't think you're under anything wrong there, to be honest. Did everything but win that point. A year and a half in mm. Grand Slams has gotten better and better. Phil is also one of those few guys that doesn't overplay on very important situations against the best 14, in the 15. world. How's that for an injection of pace? There's that backhand you're talking about, Robbie in power down here guys it's quite extraordinary when you sit courtside and you watch Rafa he, he, the amount of forward speed and spin that he puts on this ball it, it shocks you every time you you see it yeah. oh, how about that one Fitzy that was a boom -shki. It, it, it's like any any player that's in the top 100 or in the second 50 probably goes against one of these top guys. You've got to maintain it for longer than you're used to. There's no one trick pony, this guy. The volley coming to the net? Yep. I can't believe. Well, I don't want to say can't believe, but he's got beautiful volleys. Like, his technique is pretty much perfect. Yeah. Game, and first set, Nadal. 
ticks a lot of boxes in the opening stands up. Rafa's up and running. 6-1. Body has broken down on him. A few years ago, I was playing the Legends doubles here and I was playing with Carlos Moya. I could not believe how hard he was hitting the ball. Like, Again. from Nada. the first point, from the first go of, of, of I thought, you know, he'd like first to warm game. himself up. There's a great story that Alex Karecha told me the first time that he hit with Rafa. He invited him to come and practice with him, and it was the same story. You know, he had been there half an hour before warming up out of respect for Karecha. You know, why I'm saying it is because the way he's hitting the ball, I don't even believe it's red line. Huge margin, but the, but the rackets were different. The speed off the racket face is different to them. That's an excellent point you make, Fitzy. That's beautiful for Advantage Nadal. Rafa just looks so comfortable coming to the net. Soft hands here to finish it off. Fitzy, I was listening to a podcast just the other day. I mentioned it to you with Nikolai Davidenko, and he was asked about you know the biggest forehand that he's ever faced. Was it Del Potro? You know, was it Nadal, Fernando Gonzalez? And he said, no. he's a good player, but but compared to Rafa off the ground, he's just lighter. Oh, that's the best shot we've seen coming. Well done. Davidenko said was that the depth of the Nadal point didn't hurt him as much. Yes, it would eventually wear him out, but he never felt suffocated by it. And of course, Davidenko had a good record against Nadal, for those of you who can remember. Russian had a lot of success. In fact, ended up with a winning record against Rafa, 6-5. to five. So It wasn't like it was a once-off. So it was a nice perspective from him. Yeah. Yeah, a little exchange between Kiron and Nadal there on the sit down. Yeah. Yeah. We played some champion events years ago, and and uh, I think it was maybe 14, 15 at the time, you yeah. know. And love. he was just telling me how good this kid was, and everyone was coming down to train at his academy. There was just behind my boy, Ugo Umbe. You've got to create it all yourself. Get in trouble pretty quickly. Thirty love. You know. Yeah, yeah. yeah nicely done, Marcus. Spending equipment. Spending money on the best equipment to enhance the viewing experience.
Kieran, sorry. Nice hands with this pickup from Rafa, but bring this up nicely. That's such a heavy play. That's a very typical one two 40, 15. combination for Rafa. Two sets to one up as the Italian. Same play. This is the one we were talking about, wasn't it, Mark? Short, central, for your life. Look at that, plenty of space above the net and not too close to the baseline. Just looks very safe, doesn't it? It certainly does. But I think the conditions suit Rafa. He likes that ball jumping, doesn't he, off the surface. Probably a case in point of a lot of these rallies where that's vintage Rafa. the underlying characteristic that makes him so great. Deuce. Yeah, not this time. Hand skill. TV. Thanks for coming. And I think the same for the smash. Very rarely do you see him ever miss a smash. Backhand a bit working over, over on that occasion. And, and Rafa leads now takes two, two, two sets to love lead. Love 15. See that miss right there. Gotcha.
is the efficiency of that backhand. It's one of the things he's been able to improve from set. Rough off balance. Love. Yeah, I agree, Flipper. He, he's got to do something a bit different. And, and I think he's attempted to hit that off. Look at that. So this one's going to pull the trigger. Wow. He's blitzed it, hasn't he? 165 kilometres an hour, that forehand. Sip has a, a sp Spicy yeah, punch of out. prime Spanish chorizo. Doing that, you're just trying to get play defense to get that break back somehow. You're not thinking about doing something different. Just in front of me when he finished up there, I, if that was me, I would have had a, a broad smile on my face. You might he have just thought it was regulation. But he's got so much time, he gets around and just pounds it. Oh, that's a great touch from Gear on there. I was waiting for him to go around the net post here with this attempt. But he goes across, and this was close to making it. And it become... One of his trademark shots now. To the box, and, and to me that just says, um, they've talked about finishing points off quicker, coming forward a little more. He's such an exceptional volley, and he, he really only comes in when he's got a relatively easy volley, so his percentage of volley winners. non-contact sports but see oh that'll work that is well, sorry Robbie there was a wry smile in from from uh, Marcus he, he looked at his box as if to say involved in that one mm. that was, he threw caution to the wind there but good on him Definitely yeah, started to dial in his forehand a little bit. for the most part and turns defense into attack magnificently with that shot right there and so quick onto the pass Straight off the ball movement, he is. Oh, got himself in a pickle there once again.
was coming, hey Robbie. Waiting for it, maybe three, four shots before this. So well disguised, you can't see it coming. He's in full flow now, folks. And the scoreline is an emphatic one. Yeah, let's lick the line. What are you talking about? Former junior champion here. Nori has been playing, I mean, had one of his best years last year. What a serve. Quickly snuffed out. Progressed is a winner in straight sets. One, four, and two.